I'm Brian Evans. Uh, I'm Professor of Urbanism and Landscape at the Macintosh School of Architecture, the Glasgow School of Art, where I'm also director of the Glasgow Urban Laboratory. The research that we undertook found out three key things. First of all, there are six trends, immigration, ageing, low fertility, climate change, automation and artificial intelligence that combine to create a cocktail of change for cities and communities. And that change can be benign or it can be toxic. Secondly, that the jet age and the net age combine to create urban concentration to a degree that we've never seen before. So cities are concentrating much more than they did in the past. And thirdly, there's a paradigm shift from the industrial city to the knowledge city, where knowledge itself is the means of production. And the only factor, spatial factor, that people require is the need to be close to other people and have access to the experience economy. I think the key thing we wanted to find out with this research is to what degree do, does the findings of the UN research apply to Scotland's cities? And to what extent do we need to consider and perhaps change what we're doing with Scotland's cities in order to address these forces and then create a discussion and a dialogue around about that with the public sector and the private sector, cities and citizens, to see how that change and constructive change might be brought about. So we see, for example, that urban concentration is happening in Scotland. We can see that, that each of the three cities are concentrating into the city centres. We can see that the transition from the industrial city to the knowledge city is evident. We should probably stop using the term post-industrial to describe cities like Glasgow and Dundee and start to talk about proto-knowledge cities. And we can also see the cities configuring themselves to deal with these multifarious trends of ageing, migration, climate change and so on and the combination of these trends in terms of configuring the cities for the future. We can see the combination of urban concentration um, and the change from industrial cities to knowledge cities most clearly when we look at the employment in Scotland's cities. So Aberdeen, Glasgow and Edinburgh together um, have 60% of knowledge intensive business jobs in Scotland. And when you add that to the city regions, uh, the three city regions, that figures over 85%. So over 85% of the prime knowledge jobs in Scotland are located in the three cities and the three city regions. It's often said that the future of cities is complex. And of course, to a degree, that's true. But it may well be more simple than we think. The narrative about the trends from the United Nations research let us see that there is a tapestry involving a number of issues. Urban concentration, where cities are becoming ever more compact, uh, and the paradigm shift from the industrial city to the knowledge city means that we need to have a big conversation amongst the public sector, the private sector and in communities to talk about these issues, to understand the consequences of these issues, to understand the interaction of these issues and to have that conversation in a way that's transparent so that we detoxify um, discussions about change and we focus on certain inevitabilities, but we focus on how these things can be made to be benign for our businesses, for our cities and for our people.